नमस्कार और आपका स्वागत है राघव परिचय की इस श्रृंखला की इस आखिरी कड़ी में जैसे मैंने पिछले हफ्ते कहा था अब हम राग से बाहर निकल के आगे बढ़ेंगे और पूरे संगीत विषय में थोड़ी सी चर्चा करेंगे पूरे संगीत विषय में अपने मन में जो भी प्रश्न होंगे उनके उत्तर ढूंढने की यहाँ पे हम सब मिलके कोशिश करेंगे और ये सिलसिला शुरू होगा अगले हफ्ते से राग परिचय को समाप्त करने के लिए यही उचित होगा कि हम भैरवी सुने करीबन एक साल पहले मैंने भैरवी के ऊपर एक कार्यक्रम किया हुआ था उसी का एक सारांश मैं यहाँ पे आपको सुनाने जा रहा हूँ जहाँ पे मैंने भैरवी की रचना समझाने की कोशिश की थी छोटा सा क्लिप है उसके बाद में मैं भैरवी में एक बंदिश सुनाऊंगा यस सो लेट अस गेट ऑन विथ भैरवी नो भैरवी एंजॉयज अ वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट प्लेस इन द कल्चर ऑफ इंडिया इट्स कल्चरली इट इज एक्सट्रीमली सिग्निफिकेंट यू नो दोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ भैरवी इज इट इज यूज एज एन एंडिंग ऑफ अ कॉन्सर्ट सो मोस्ट कॉन्सर्ट वुड एंड विथ अ भैरवी सो वे इफ यू सी अ सिंगर और अ इंस्ट्रूमेंटलिस्ट स्टार्टिंग ऑफ विथ अ भैरवी यू कैन इमेजिन दैट ही इज गोइंग टू एंड द कॉन्सर्ट आफ्टर दिस नो दे कुड बी वेरियस रीजन्स फॉर दिस यू नो आई आई थिंक ऑफ अ कपल ऑफ रीजन्स नंबर वन आई भैरवी is normally sung in the mornings the, the time allotted to bhairavi is the morning time and probably in the old days uh, the concerts used to go on through the night and then when you near the end of the concert you know it's almost it's day break it you get into the morning and then you end with bhairavi another logic uh, a friend of mine gave me was quite different she said that uh, in a concert if a if a singer has to sing many rags one after the other then to you know make it develop better and better normally what is done is after you have sung a rag supposing you sing a rag with all shuddha swara then the next rag should introduce one komal swara and so on you know so if you have if you have one rag starting off with all shuddha swara then you the next rag chosen is is with uh, one komal swara added so naturally the next one after that would have a couple of uh, another komal swara added and so finally when you come to the end of the concert everything is uh, komal and that is bhairavi bhairavi is the rag which uses all the swara in their komal versions so that is bhairavi bhairavi is extremely popular it is the you get you get uh, drupads in bhairavi there are khayals in bhairavi uh, normally madhyalay khayals there are not many vilambit khayals in bhairavi a lot of thumris in bhairavi all the all the uh, you know all the types of semi classical songs you know thumri dadra and chaiti kajri hori and all that and uh, you have because of uh, this uh, specific uh, cultural association also and uh, we will get into the the bhairavi structure it is extremely popular uh, in the light uh, music also meaning the 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 hindi film industry again going back to the 70s and before that you know really really use bhairavi to a, a large extent so we will know uh, you know when we look at the structure of the bhairavi why this happened so let us start looking at the structure of bhairavi now so as i said in the beginning bhairavi is all swara in their komal versions this is my sa
सा सारे ग This is only the set of the swara used in Bhairavi, and we all know what the chalan of a rag does to a structure of a rag. So let us look at the chalan of Bhairavi as a rag. So. the re normally is omitted in the aroha sa ga ma or and then there is a very peculiar andolan to the gandhar sa ga ma ga ga ma ga ma re sa ni sa so this is how the bhairavi normally begins and then ga ma dha pa that's the next phrase then when you go into the uttaranga towards the sa ga ma dha ni sa so go gama pada ni sa So this is the chalan of Bhairavi. So this is the purest form of Bhairavi which was the original version of Bhairavi where you are using all the komal swar over the years over the last few centuries i must say that uh, you know a lot of things went on changing and then a lot of shuddha swar are getting added to the structure of bhairavi and today in fact we almost treat bhairavi as a rag with all 12 swar so bhairavi uses all 12 but then not randomly there is a system to that so let us just you know briefly see how this can be done so let us look at the if i have to add the shuddha re sa 
सारे And just as we added the Shuddha Re, you can then add the Shuddha Daivat because that's the counterpart in the Uttaranga. You could add the Tivra Madhyam in a beautiful way. You will find this done normally in the in the Tumris. The Tumris also add the Shuddha Nishad. very sparingly used shuddha gandhar i i think it's probably the most discordant in the whole structure and you won't find many people using the shuddha gandhar uh, really you know so this is bhairavi you know using all 12 notes beautifully and uh, this flexibility and this malleability of the rag is probably what has made it you know so very popular for the for the uh, light music and the semi classical music so you have a lot of tumris and uh, umpteen dozens of uh, hindi film songs in bhairavi so that was bhairavi for us